You are listening to the Intelligent Vocalist Podcast, episode 171. Welcome to the Intelligent Vocalist with John Henney. This is the podcast dedicated to help you be a smarter, better, more informed singer. And now, your host for the Intelligent Vocalist, John Henney. Hey there, this is John Henney. Welcome back to another episode of The Intelligent Vocalist. I do so appreciate you spending your precious listening time with me. Oh yes, we are entering month two of our house party known as Shelter in Place in these very, very strange times. And I'm sure you are also feeling the effects of having your normal schedule just thrown off. Um... I do work from home quite a bit, but even with that, my my schedule has been thrown off. And with that, it's easy to lose track of what it is you should be doing. I find myself, the less I have to get done in a day, the less I get done. Uh, usually when I am busier, I can be more focused and uh, really get projects started, projects finished. There's a discipline that comes with having a regular schedule that's just been thrown out. And especially if you're working from home and you've got young kids at home uh, where they're having to be at school remotely, your schedule's probably a bit wild as well. Uh, It's unpredictable. Also, it's hard to set time aside to focus on your voice. And I have fallen into the trap previously with my voice or other studies that I do, even with work, that if I can't set aside a certain chunk of time, at least 25, 30 minutes, then it's not worthwhile. And that's just wrong. Uh, One of the things about the voice is it responds to consistency. You're really not going to make great progress if you just try and jam all your practicing into one or two long sessions per week. You're much better off breaking it off into smaller sessions. And during a day, if you can't give yourself a small session like 30 minutes, then I recommend just micro sessions throughout the day. Even just a few minutes here and there can make a big difference. Again, because it is consistency. We need to keep stretching out the voice. We need to keep reestablishing these balances, um, these coordinations, uh, acquainting ourselves with these sensations, cataloging all of the coordinations that make up singing. And if I can only do one thing for my voice... If I only have a few minutes, the thing I'm going to do is vocalizing through a straw. And if I don't have a straw, then I'm going to do some other form of semi-occluded vocal track exercise, partially blocked vocal track. And besides the straw, that can fall into lip bubbles, tongue trills, vocalizing on the NG of sung, um, TH, th, Z. And those provide a really uh, necessary back pressure and, and reflection of energy back to the vocal folds that helps set us up for balanced singing. And if you just have two minutes between running around and uh, doing something uh, before you have to go stop your kids from fighting over who gets control of the uh, gaming system, just grab a straw. And just do some glides. But the key is, you want to focus. You want to pay attention. If you've only got two minutes, don't waste it by doing your vocal work mindlessly. Even with straws, pay attention to sensation. Pay attention to what your vocal folds feel like on the higher notes as they're phonating with this nice back pressure giving them assistance. Feel what it's like to not over-muscle the folds on high notes. You can work sustains and your vibrato. All of this in just a few minutes. Now, if you can stretch it a little further, uh, 
I would go ahead then and do glides on narrow vowels, oo, o, e, very gently, but tie it in to what you previous, previously experienced with the straws. If you feel yourself getting tense on those, go back to the straw, do a glide, feel what that's like, and then see if you can recreate those sensations without the straw, recreate those coordinations, and get that balance. You can work on vowel tuning, going from more closed vowels like oo to o to uh to ah, and seeing what changes occur. How are those sensations different? Where do you start to lose the balance? What vowels are good for you? And you can really start to pinpoint your voice and break it down. And the other thing I would recommend is during these micro practices, have a goal, just a really simple goal. If you have more than a minute or two, then pick a goal such as, I want to work on my evals. And you can just sit 60 seconds, 90 seconds, and work different shades of E. Feel, what the, feel the changes in the E as you move your tongue forward and move your tongue back. Test how far you can move your tongue but still maintain a sense of E. And if that's all you do that day, that's great. But I bet you could find a couple of minutes later in the day as well. And then you might stick with the E or you can go to an vowel, or you can work on your sustains. You don't have to set aside all this time and work on five songs and be, be warming up for a half hour before you even sing a song. You can just take small parts of songs. You can work on phrasing. You can work on your timing. Again, you can work on your vowel tuning and the colors, all these different things. Work on, sometimes I will just pick just a few notes within a song, a high note, and then I want to see how I'm approaching the high note. I'll work the word just before the high note to see if I can set that up so then the high note comes in easier. A lot of times when we can't sing a high note, the problem is a note or two before. We've set ourselves up for failure. We've either added too much tension on the note just before it, or we've let it fall apart. And we're usually so focused on the high note that we're not paying attention to the note leading up to it. But that note is critical. That's the step-off note into your high note. So here's how I would work a typical, let's say, five to 10 minute practice session. Again, if I have less than that, I would probably just work uh, straws and just do that for a couple of minutes. But if I can set aside uh, five minutes, I would do straws for maybe a minute. Then I would go to lip bubbles or tongue trills for a minute. Then narrow vowels to open vowels and then to sustains. I wouldn't worry about power or pressing it unless your voice feels really, really good. And if it does feel good, then you can feel yourself begin to press in and set in and hold some sustains with a little more intensity. But that's the one thing I wouldn't rush is, is don't rush intensity. And a lot of times what we'll do is if we only have a few minutes, we'll just grab a song and run it down and just belt our way through it, repeating the mistakes that we've made time and time again. That's, that's human nature, but that's not deliberate practice. Even if you have five minutes, you want to make these five minutes count. You want to use deliberate practice. You want to be mentally engaged. Five minutes of being mentally engaged is worth more than 15 minutes of not paying attention, especially if you know what it is you need to work on and you have that goal, and you can spend a minute or so just focused on that specific goal, you will find yourself improving much more quickly. 
And if you can do this multiple times throughout the day, that's fantastic. So those days when you don't have the time to really work your voice, grabbing these little micro practices all throughout the day can really help you improve quickly. Uh, it's something that you should start doing right away. Don't let time go by without you practicing. Habits and routines are getting destroyed in the upheaval of this pandemic. And I know there's, there are much bigger problems going on, but, but on a small personal level, you've really got to watch yourself that you don't start letting habits and routines get away from you because habits are power. Doing something every day is key. So don't spend every day in your pajamas. Keep showering. Keep shaving. Um, lucky for me, I don't have to worry about haircuts. Well, lucky or unlucky, but I've got a shaved head. But, you know, we, we need to just keep a sense of normalcy. And doing these micro practices can keep your habit going. So when all of this calms down and you can get to a better routine, you won't have lost this daily focus on keeping your voice going. Hey, if you want to know more about me, please visit my website, johnhenney.com, and be sure to sign up for my straw warm-ups course. I take you through a whole warm-up utilizing straws. Straws are amazing. I'm a huge believer, and you can learn how they work and what to do. It's absolutely free. You'll see it right there on the front page at johnhenney.com. And if you want to use some of this downtime to learn to be a voice teacher, I encourage you to click on the teacher training tab at the top and you can learn about my Contemporary Voice Teacher Academy. I've got hundreds of voice teachers from all over the world studying, going through this course, uh, passing their certification test, and I've got really great response. We do uh, monthly member webinars and it's all study at your own pace. It's all online, and I'd, I'd love to see you in there. So just click on the teacher training tab. You can learn all about it. And until next time, to better singing. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.